My name is Maya Bailey, and I'm not your typical person, I guess, to come over here and speak to y'all. So it's an interesting crowd over here. So I'm a little nervous, y'all. But my topic today is to turn something from nothing, which means opportunity, y'all. I grew up under the poverty line, which means my creativity had to form in a different way than some people who had a good life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> you had to be more creative because you had to think about if my mother had, was making $300 a week and we got four children, how she was going to feed all four of us with only a $300 a week salary. So I watched my mother do this thing. I seen her buy manwich, and she would cook this manwich up, and she would feed all four of us, and she would make sure that we had enough, and sometimes I watched my mother not eat so we can get seconds. So seeing these images in my head, it kind of sparked my creativity a little bit more. How can I help my mother out? So I got into art, and I grew up, I'm, I'm about to be 44 in a couple of weeks. This is my business city of, I mean, this is uh, Peter Street Station, it's a community center I'm starting. And I'm gonna get to this and why I'm doing this community center. But I watched my mom not eat many times, and, it, and it, it, it made me angry, which also can spark creativity, because I could go different ways. Uh, I know a lot of times people stereotype people who've gone on the poverty line and think people might be criminals or anything, like, oh, who wanna sell crack for $10, realistically? Who's gonna get rich selling crack for $10 or $5 a rock, realistically? So the people that you see out there maybe don't have, they got lack of opportunity. But if you got an easy way to make a little money, you're gonna feed your family and help your family out. What I did was, when everybody was breakdancing in the 80s, they were spinning around, white people would come, give them money. <laughs> it was like, yeah, look at the little black ghetto kid spinning, you know? And they give you money, and you take that money, you go help your mother, you go help your father, you go help people that you know and love. I wasn't a breakdancer that good, so I would draw the breakdancers. So while the breakdancers were getting quarters and 50 cent, I was getting a dollar to draw these breakdancers. Well, I was like, okay, now I got a business. This poorness in my heart and in, in my environment and seeing friends of mine dying, seeing my mother struggle, seeing this lack of opportunity, it make my creativity spark a little bit more. I want to talk about how if you open up your mind, you can see how poor people can actually be the answer to America's problems. You know, think about this. Think about America, right? And you think about people born above the poverty line and didn't have to develop some survival skills. So for example, I might grow up in a bad neighborhood and you might see a white, people, a white person jogging down the street in a bad neighborhood because they don't have survival skills, you know? They didn't know that this might be a neighborhood you might not want to jog down the street on, you know what I'm saying? Because they didn't develop those type of things in their mind to do this. It's a black man walking down the street, I gotta think about, okay, this person jogging down the street might be a little nervous about me, so how can I make this person not be afraid of me, or should I give a f about it at all? Should I let this person, you know, I, I gotta think about the police. When I walk down the street, the police can harass me, throw me on the ground. How many of y'all been thrown on the ground, harassed by the police just walking down the street? Anybody? Anybody? So that's not a word y'all even live in. So on my daily thing, I have to walk down the street and think about, am I gonna get robbed today? Or is the police going to shoot me? Am I going to be stereotyped for something I'm not? I got to think about all these things, and that's also fun creativity. It fuels creativity in my mind. How can I do these things? How can I get someone else not to go through the same struggles that I went through and what I'm going to do? So what I did was I got an abandoned building in my neighborhood, Peter Street Station. I got an abandoned neighborhood. I took this abandoned building, a neighborhood, actually abandoned neighborhood. Me and my friends, we all teamed up. We got a building each in this neighborhood, right? We fixed these buildings up using the resources we have, which is not money. So we had to talk people into letting us get buildings that were abandoned in Atlanta and trusting us with these buildings to create jobs and opportunity for people who's going through the same struggles I went through growing up. I did these things. This is Peter Street Station, by the way. This abandoned building I'm talking about right now. This is the last building I purchased. And what you see right now is the building was made in 1826. No one had opportunity. Nobody wanted to build them because it was so old and destroyed and ugly and gross, a lot of bird stuff in there, you know. 
<laughs> no one wanted this building. So what we did was, I got a couple of people in the neighborhood who didn't have money, but they had, was rich with creativity, maybe with other resources, carpenters. And I don't, I don't have the money to pay a carpenter, so maybe I can do a tattoo and change other carpenter services. Or maybe I can, uh, this person is good with painting walls, maybe I can do a drawing or illustration for this person for their home in exchange for painting services. So I did this whole entire project of uh, taking an abandoned building using no money and using resources and creativity. I knew how to do that because I had to sleep on the floor for a couple of years because I couldn't have had a choice of buying a nice bed or paying a light bill. You know, I had choices like this. You know, I had to come up with ways to do this. I know I had to make rent. My rent may be, hey, hey, I got 700 bucks to make this month. How am I going to make this rent? I had to think on my toes because I'm a college dropout. I'm a high school dropout. And it's not a lot of opportunities for artists that didn't finish school, you know? So I had to either be really good or really smart and just try to use all my avenues and my connections that I got. I really believe poor people got the answers to all these things. I think if we stop looking at poor people as just being poor people and looking at them for the answers, because if you use your whole entire life using limited funds, limited opportunities, racism, classism, all the isms in the world are faced against you, and you come still create jobs, opportunities, and still survive. Imagine if a big company would give a small entrepreneur a million dollars and what they would do with it. If you can flip $300, imagine we can do it a million dollars. It just makes more sense. So I think America, a lot of times we overlook these things because of greed, ignorance, and just to keep the poor poor and keep the rich rich, right? If you keep the rich rich and you keep the poor poor, you create more workers. So sort of like how you go to school to get a degree, to get a job, to work for somebody else, to keep them rich, and then you be a worker, and you might don't get the opportunity to be rich at all. So your family, next generation, might be another generation of workers. My goal is not to make this happen for people that I know. I want to start something and, and teach people using abandoned buildings in Atlanta. You take these abandoned buildings, you make them art community centers, and you teach young people how to use art and other creative ways to make money. Not just an after-school art program where you drop your kid off, they learn how to do some arts and crafts, and then they go home and they say they want to be a doctor, or they want to be a police officer, and they're just doing art as a hobby you know, or a side gig. This is an opportunity if you teach people how to use their minds and their creativity, that you can actually create more opportunities for other people. I really want to see more people expanding their minds, stepping out into their faith, and actually looking at person on the street and seeing how they survive. Because if you had a nice income and you come into a, uh, you graduate college and you get this big sum from your parents or your grandmoms left you a whole bunch of money, it's real easy to have a, a foot above someone else. Uh, you can blow it. I know a lot of people who got little kid funds from their grandparents and just blew it, you know? They just blew the money. And as imagine if someone else who didn't have this opportunity to get some money and what they can do with it using the creativity of struggle. Struggle is the greatest gift of, of that. I really personally believe that poor people have a better creativity than, than, than rich people. Rich people are kind of lazy in their thinking because everything was handed to them. So if you get struggle, you had to think about it. So I think about like people like, who know about Louis Latimer in here? Anybody? The real guy who, who invented the light bulb? Yeah, see? It's like inventors like this, when African people was picking cotton, they had to come up with ways to make the job a little easier. So the cotton gin was, it was invented. Or then you see, in the, you see a whole bunch of cars going in ready, going crazy, and then you know, people bumping into each other. So the street light was invented. These are all invented by black people. There was under the poverty line who was struggling and had to come up with creative ways to make life easier for them. These are the things that we need to open our minds up to look at and realize that the people you walking past on the street might have an answer to saving America. You know? I talk to homeless people every single day. I walk to work every day just because I want to so I can be a reality check that it's more people on the, on the ground. How did this person sleep tonight? How did this person survive? It's cold tonight. How this person is going to survive? That's creativity. How this person is going to make a habitat? I think about these things and think about struggle and how beautiful it is to actually you struggle to better 
uh, develop your creativity. I really want to see people out, step out their self, look at the poor people on the streets, and maybe take a second to have a conversation with them, pick their brains. You never know, they might have a business idea that's going to employ about three people, four people. It's better than no people. Everybody needs to open up their minds a little bit and think about that. Think about how your minds did not develop because of certain struggles you did not do. You had to go through at all. I went through a lot of struggle. I come up with different ways to make income, and I employ at least 30 people and, and sign about at least 28 checks a week by myself. And I got a team of people that I put together in place so they can be their own bosses, employ more people that was also in the same position, you know, predicament. Everybody I know was either broke or homeless. And everybody now I know are mostly bosses and creating jobs for other people because they came up with the philosophies of using struggle to be more creative, to become bosses, entrepreneurs, to create jobs in their community. Stop overlooking the poor and let's do something, y'all. Let's really start taking the poor. If you're an investor in businesses, look at an entrepreneur that's been in the business for at least 10 years that had been proven they had no business loan, no grants, no one helped them, no funding up front to do anything, but you see they have a successful business. Now imagine this successful business with a so-called stimulus package of a million dollars and see what, if this person can turn a 300, business, 300, million, or $300 business into a $10,000 business. Imagine what you can do with a million dollars if your mind is open to trusting someone, one under the poverty line. That's all. Thank you.